hello guys welcome back my name is yannick and today we're gonna build a eks cluster so it's it is part of our CICD pipeline so we're gonna build a kubernetes cluster and to do that we're gonna use aws eks right and as you can see over here we don't have any cluster yet no server no load balancer nothing right and the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that we have AWS CLI installed in our computer. You can use it. You can install it using Linux. If you are, if you have a Linux, you can use uh, the Mac installation if you have Mac, or you can use the Windows installation if you have Windows. I'm going to put the link in the YouTube channel. And after that, you have to also make sure that you have the EKS CTL. And you can install it if you have uh, Windows, you can install it using Chocolaty. And if you have Mac, you can you, you can install it using Bro. I'm going to put the link out as well. So with this said, I want to make sure that I have my AWS CLI installed, my EKS installed. After that, I have to go to AWS IAM. So let's jump to the console, right? I'm going to go to my AWS console. I'm going to go to services and I'm going to type, or I can type IAM and assert it, right? And I'm going to click on IAM. then i'm going to click on users i'm going to add a new a new user right and i'm going to give it a name let's say uh eks ctl right let's give it that name right and let's check the option to provide access to the aws management console right and let's select i want to create the i am user myself right and it's going to be auto generated password i'm going to click on next we're going to click on attach policy directly right and i'm going to give it the admin administrator access policy right i'm going to go down and click on next and i'm going to click on create user right this is the password, but I don't need this password. What I'm going to do that next is to go back to the users list. Then I'm going to look for EKS wire and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to go to security credentials. And I'm going to look for access key wire. And I'm going to click create access key and i'm going to click on it then i'm going to select the cli or the command line interface and i'm going to check that i understand the above recommendation and want to proceed to create a access key i'm going to click on next then i'm going to click on create access key so with this let me reduce my my window right so now i have my cli wire right i want to i want my computer to be able to connect to my aws using the using aws cli right what i'm going to do is type, i'm going to type aws configure right and i'm going to press enter it's going to ask me for the aws access key id right i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to paste it right here and i'm going to press enter it's going to ask me for the secret access key i'm going to copy this one and paste it right here i'm going to press enter and it's going to ask me for the default region i'm going to use the default one us is two if you don't want to use that, you can tap whatever region you want. 
me i'm going to use the same one so i don't have to tap it but i want to show you how to do that us is iphone 2 and for the default output format we're going to leave it alone right now we set up our aws cli and everything is configured right but just to make sure that everything is configured i have a s3 bucket in us is 2 i just want to make sure that i'm able to list it for my cli right what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use aws space s3 right and ls for list right and i'm gonna press enter and as you guys see i have my s3 bucket names over here right and it means that i'm able to connect to my aws using aws cli i just clear my uh, command line interface so now that we everything is configured right what we can do is that i'm going to go back to services and i'm going to look for elastic kubernetes services and i'm going to click on clusters as you guys can see we don't have any cluster so let's jump in and start creating a cluster what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open another terminal right here and i'm going to do eks ctl create cluster right and i'm going to put help iphone iphone help iphone help iphone help, iPhone help right and it's going to give me a bunch of information so i'm going to go over it and i'm going to see how i can create right so you guys can see eks ctl create cluster and it's going to say we can put iphone n for the name and we can name it whatever we want or we can use iphone iphone name then we put a string right and we can also put the tags if we want right we can also put k1 or for example k1 equal equal uh, v1 tags for example right we can put iphone r for the region or we can put iphone r for the region right i'm not going to go over everything what is important is that you guys see over here it says iphone iphone with iphone oidc right it's going to enable the i am oidc provider and that is important right and the version is not that important right the other thing is that we're going to have the node group right iphone iphone node group iphone name we're going to give it a name right and we're going to select the node type right and the node and the number of nodes right and if you want to use auto scaling you can use this part right the the another another thing that is very important is to make sure that we're gonna add the tag iphone iphone ssh iphone access but there's nothing we just have to put that tag or the flags right that flag let's say that flag and also i want to have access i want to able to, i want to be able to log in or to ssh to our note right so i, I want to make sure that i put this this flag and I put the string, right? A string, a, and the string gonna be the. If you have a public key or a key pair, you're gonna put the key pair right here, right? And I want my node to be private, so this tag gonna be a good tag, right? It's gonna make sure that the networking is private. And if you wanna, if you wanna give some instance name, you can put it right here, or if you wanna. A EKS cluster to be managed, you're gonna put the flag iPhone iPhone manage, right? Uh, for the instance type, you're gonna put it right here. And if you want to use uh auto scaling access and all that, you can use this flag. But for us, we want to use external DNS access, so we're gonna use this flag, right? And we want to make sure that we are able to enable application load balancer as an ingress right so we're going to use this one
and you can go over them so let's jump and start creating let me make this one bigger and start creating our cluster right so the first thing we're gonna do is to tag eksctl sorry ctl create cluster right iPhone name gonna be learn sorry learn tech with Yannick right and my region is gonna be iPhone iPhone region is gonna be US iPhone East iPhone 2 right I don't have to put the region because I already set up my default region, right? But if you want to create this EKS cluster in another region, you should put it. That's why I put it, right? I'm going to put iPhone, iPhone, node, group, iPhone name. I'm going to name it Anayel uh, iPhone Ebo. That is the group name, uh, that is a node group name, right? And I'm going to put iPhone, iPhone, sorry. iPhone, iPhone, node, iPhone types. I'm going to use the T2. Uh, it's going to be the T2. I want to use, you can use whatever you want, but me, I'm going to use the T2 uh, X large. Let's do X large, right? Oh, it's not writing. Okay. X large. And I'm going to do iPhone, iPhone node. How many nodes do I want? I want, let's say, four nodes, right? And I want the load balancer. So I'm going to do iPhone, iPhone ELB, iPhone ingress, right? iPhone access right then i also want the public key so i'm going to do iphone iphone right ssh sorry ssh iphone public iphone key right and i'm going to put the name of my key my the name of my key going to be anayel one right then i'm going to put another flag right for the external dns access right i'm going to do iPhone, iPhone, external, iPhone, DNS, iPhone, access, right? Then I'm going to put another um, flag that's going to be SSH, iPhone, access, right? Then I want my node to be private, right? I, know, I want my networking to be private. So I'm going to put another flag. It's going to be iPhone, iPhone node, iPhone private, iPhone, I think it was networking, yes. Networking, right? And I want to enable OIDC, right? So I'm going to do iPhone, iPhone with iphone oidc right and after doing that i'm good right if you want to enable the uh, container for aws you can add it but i'm going to we're going to use docker right docker hub to do to store our container so this one is good and i can just press enter And as you guys see, we start building our Kubernetes cluster with four nodes or four servers, right? And we just have to wait. I can reduce this one if you if you don't mind. And if I refresh over here, at one point we're gonna see that we're gonna have the name of the cluster. So let's wait a little bit and let's see what is happening. 
we are keep waiting and i'm gonna refresh it at least we should see the by now we should see the name of our cluster if i refresh it you're gonna see that this is the name of our cluster and uh, the status set it is creating so it's gonna take a little bit of time creating so i'm gonna pause the video and come back when our cluster is ready we we don't need to do anything else we just need we just need to wait for our cluster to be created right so i'm going to come back after that okay guys uh it said via eks cluster the name in our region is ready right let's refresh it and let's see if it is ready yeah it says active and the kubernetes version is 1.25 we can update it to 1.26 if you want, but 1.25 is good for what we want to do, right? So it's good. So I'm going to click on the cluster name, right? As you guys can see, we have everything we need. We can go to the resources and we're going to go to compute, right? We're going to have our node group. We name it anil Alpha Ebo, right? We have four nodes. Or four servers right if we click on it we can have more information right and uh, you're gonna have the information about the servers wire right and you can have the labels if you want the config and so on right uh, we can tend also right but we are not gonna do that so we are good let's go to let's open the terminal and let's run some command right cube ctl get node We're going to see that we have four nodes right and to make sure that we have all those four nodes we can come on services ec2 make sure that you are in the proper region us is 2 right and if you click on instance running we're going to see that we have our four working nodes so everything is good we just created a kubernetes cluster using aws eks right so this is how we are we create a kubernetes cluster using aws eks you can use also the console or you can use other tools but i think for me that the eks ctl is the fastest way of creating a aws kubernetes cluster if you don't want to use tool like venture right so next we're going to add a nfs server to this kubernetes cluster right but instead of using a traditional nfs server we're going to use efs right elastifast system on aws and it's going to be in the next video see you there if you like this video, subscribe and leave a comment and like it, okay? See you next time.